Hi Pisces, the Awakened Dreamer here to give you your weekly tarot reading for the week of March 21st to the 27th, 2022. Thank you so much for joining me. And I do want to remind you as always, this is general for the week, so just take what resonates. And as well, I want to thank you in advance for your likes, comments, and subscriptions to the channel. If you haven't done so already, join this Pisces tribe. Now to book a personal reading with myself on a separate note, just reach out via email. All the information is down below that you need, um, plus that email, and I will definitely get that started for you. They're always accurate. Now, don't forget to stick with me until the very end of the reading to get an answer to your own yes or no question. So make sure to think of that along the way as we proceed. The overall message I channeled for you, Pisces, for your week, gaining so much attention, gaining so much attention. And the song that Spirit chose to speak upon your week, Unpack Your Heart by Philip Phillips. Unpack Your Heart. I love this song. I will leave it down below in the description box for you to utilize in one way, shape, or form. And let's get started. We're going to begin by pulling several messages, whatever we get from the Spirit Animal Oracle deck. Um, they're already saying you're going to be a bit distracted this week. And then we'll further speak upon your week from um, with the Mermaid Tarot deck. Bear with me. All righty. Yeah, this just moved. Bear with me. For my lovely Pisces to begin for this upcoming week. We have two coming out. Okay. I feel like you're not 100% satisfied where you're at in one way, shape, or form. It could be more than one situation. I feel like people are just annoying this week and recently. Um, have patience, okay? Uh, being pushed to recognize that there is always enough either financially or it could just be more so resource wise if you're feeling a bit depleted overworked or just they're saying on edge all right let's see here a push to trust in the magic and a reminder that you're not alone okay through the immense amount of attention you're gaining uh, progressively throughout the week as i feel like you're also being reminded that miracles are a part of your situation moving forward, even if you haven't experienced them up until now. I feel like you have a lot going on too much. Um, people don't really, or they do get that you have a lot to accomplish, but it's just not helping the fact that you still have to do more than one person should, um, whether that's just work or it's just uh, everything adding up. Uh, some of you putting too much on your plate and needing to ask yourself why you do just that, um, something to improve potentially. But we have the grasshopper spirit talking about taking a leap of faith as well as the eagle spirit talking about how spirit has your back um, and i really feel like there's this bold presence about you either due to your spiritual connection who's by your side backing you up um, or they're saying or acting through you or more so just you feeling overly serious overworked or just um, not being in the mood one of the messages i got that i wasn't going to use for the overall message was not in the mood not in the mood i wanted it to be more positive but i feel like for some of you as the lighting is very odd right now just aren't in the mood things aren't feeling truly colorful you're just not again loving where you're at um, it could be that you could love where you're at but then certain energies don't make it easy to do so for one reason or another um, being reminded you're backed up um, in a lot of ways protected when it comes to a leap of faith you know for a while that you've been meant to take right or just now realizing Dragonfly spirit, trust um, trust that came out before when I read this card for another reading. Truth tr transcends illusion. Um, they're saying trust what you're learning. Trust what you're learning, the true colors you're seeing, the, um, the future of a situation that will not be very, um, it'll be enlightening, but it won't be very uh, pleasing in a lot of ways. It won't satisfy you. Um, very interesting it may feel like in in certain ways with the number 23 and 22 like you have to take a step back in one way shape or form whether that means uh, backtracking or it means going to a situation that feels like you're taking a step back or potentially a push for you pisces to take a step back and re-examine where you're at and if it's going to work moving forward okay um they're saying we're not meaning to get overly serious but i feel like you're also kind of exuding that energy to an extent vulture spirit nothing is wasted Okay, nothing is wasted. Even those times when you step back and re-examine, even um, the downtime, I feel like you're not going to be shy to take time to rest or to socialize throughout the week for uh, just to kind of switch things up or to 
catch up or to get that release. But I feel like you need that reminder that you, or you need to remind somebody else that this is positive. Interesting. Um, they're saying even certain conversations aren't wasted, even if you feel like you can't stay present or they're not um, uh, very beneficial in one way, shape or form. Um, I don't know why I can't help but focus on the lighting. It got very dark for your reading. Rabbit spirit, now is a lucky time. Now is a lucky time. And so I really feel like you're going to be pushed to recognize that luck is on your side moving forward, especially on the outside of the cards when it comes to the sleep of faith, you feel the need to take. Um, they're saying do so with your crown on. Allow yourself to recognize, because then we have rabbit, you know, bunnies talking about representing giving birth to something new. Um, you're going to recognize that when you give birth to a big change, there's other small changes that will um, derive from it, uh, trickle from that, you know what I mean? Um, will unravel because you took, uh, allowed oneself to dig for that courage to step up and do what's right for you. Again, don't forget you're never alone. And I feel like throughout the week, even friends, uh, new people that you meet, um, certain people wanting to hook up with you or just go on a date with you are just giving you the attention, even if somebody you don't expect to reach out potentially from the past. You're reminded that you deserve the attention, but it may feel like too much at times. Let's continue and pull from the Mermaid Tarot deck. I need to prioritize your happiness as, again, you're feeling a bit overly serious, but planning for what you deserve, even when working. Okay, some fell onto the floor and I was told to leave them for my lovely Pisces to continue. level of frustration excuse me in how i just sighed but as you could see or maybe you didn't see the cards um all four it went two and two you may be feeling very split um or torn as to how to move forward as i feel like um at times you may feel like you're putting on a show for people with all the attention you're gaining um again the fool card talking about taking leap of faith um stepping out of the cold water and just doing what's necessary for you odd wording we have the Knight of Cups and the Judgment card being honest with oneself and even honest with others as to what you truly desire, but needing to be strategic as to who you update about what you're going to go after. It's up to you and only you at the end of the day. Okay, or and your spirit guides. Um, but I just feel like you're being pushed to recognize that you're a little bit emotional at certain points, wearing your heart on your sleeve to an extent, but is that always beneficial for you, right? Um, going back to the song being pushed to recognize that the attention at times is helping people recognize that you're a bit emotional or just unsatisfied. But I feel like you just don't care if people notice you being too confident or just interesting wording. For some of you, the right kind of confidence or amount, but just understanding like you're obviously going through, you know, shit as well, bear with my language. Everybody has their own uh, frustrations, emotions, and it's like, I maybe need to rethink um, how much I share with others. Wow. Um, they're saying slow down your rants. Slow down your rants. They're not as um, easy to convey what you are desiring to get across as you might think in the moment. You might also find that, and this has come up in your readings before, certain conversations, even uh, when people are trying to teach you something or um, coach you on something at work, or even when you're just producing your work if you run a business, you, you may feel not uh, even close to present, drifting to another world or just kind of almost blacking out. I mean, it happens to me in my readings, so that would be understandable if you do spiritual work. But even if you don't, you're just going to find that you are thinking about where you want to be, um, just not wanting to be present. And that could definitely remind you why a situation needs to be adjusted or just replaced in one way, shape or form. As I lose my breath for a hot second, they kind of just stop me. Um, the five of cups coming out because you're expecting the worst or it just feels like you can't help but focus when you are present on what's not actually working in one way shape or form um somebody may says, say something positive to you and at work or just in general and you can't help but focus on what else they said that you didn't like right hanging on to it um with try to expect the best right but also it, this is kind of purposeful from the universe to make you recognize what needs to be moved towards um, once again, a passionate fresh start that's going to leave you feeling abundant. Don't expect the worst when it comes to what you want to move towards because it's meant to be successful in a lot of ways, period. Okay, a push to realize where you are feeling stuck, but also just to potentially adjust your perspective and once again expect the best. 
with the Six of Cups being pushed to think back to the past, to be honest with yourself as to why you um, have hung on to a certain disappointment or failure um, or why something didn't work out and how to make the best out of the next stage of your situation, the next chapter of your life. Allow for the stress to teach you something, but don't add more stress onto your own plate, uh, into your own situation by overthinking, overcomplicating, or just overly focusing on what's not working, right? When you realize what you need to realize, move right along. Don't hang on to it or just sit in it, okay? Especially when it comes to your emotions as well. Wow. They just said that was very uncomfortable. You're going to receive a level of abundance, especially towards the end of the week, to remind you that luck is on your side, okay? To remind you that you deserve the best moving forward and embrace the attention, right? At times it may be a little bit disheartening or annoying or just not at the perfect time for you specifically, but I feel like it's because you're going through a bit of a balancing act and all the meanwhile, you just want your privacy or you just... Um, are going through a lot once again so just embrace the attention and recognize that you do deserve to be in the spotlight in your own way um, but just move forward and recognize once again what needs to change and just try to balance things out because i feel like you do have a lot of luck uh they're saying serendipity prosperity and um, success on the horizon okay so let's answer your question for pisces Alrighty, you're getting answer of yes, an answer of yes. So I hope this reading was truly helpful. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Go have yourself an amazing week, and I'll definitely see you next time. Bye, Pisces.